What's up guys, it's Skittle Rampage here. So, I kind of just wear my headphones now just because I'm always wearing them in the videos anyways. So, but I also just woke up because um, I had to edit the uh, Deadpool video that's going up right before this one because I got really tired last night. Um, but this one is going to be, as the title states, I saw the new Mission Impossible 6 yesterday, uh, Fallout, and it was amazing, just like the last one. I saw the last one um, for my birthday as well. Um, which one was that called? Mission Impossible 5. I can't remember, but it was definitely cool, like the hanging out airplane scene. But I was going to just do like a, you know, like a recap kind of review on it. And it was awesome. I give it 5 out of 5, just like I do every one of those movies. I love them. Um, ever since I saw the first one, I was hooked with Tom Cruise. But so this will have spoilers if you guys haven't seen it. So um, I don't know if you guys want to see it anyways. So. Maybe I'll just give you my opinion first, and then um, I'll do spoilers after. But it was awesome. Um, they definitely outdid themselves. They all the stunts they do. He, I'm pretty sure he does all his own stunts, and it was just, it was, it was awesome. Uh, we actually, it was funny. We actually missed like three of the first show times because we kept driving around, and then I ended up. Uh, we came home, we got lunch, and we missed the show time. Um, <clears throat> we came home and missed another show time. And then I, um, what was it? Oh, and then, uh, I made that video. I made that Black Ops video. That's why we missed a showtime because I was trying to get that out for you guys real fast. And then, um, we went to, we ended up going to a baby store where my mom was trying to sell some clothes she had. And, uh, we missed another show. Well, we had missed a showtime, that previous showtime. So I guess we only missed two. Anyways, um, so, you know, we got our candy, we got our drinks, we got our popcorn, and we were ready. My brother and mom didn't really like the movie. Um, my brother, he didn't really like it. He's just not into those kind of movies. He's more of Aquaman, um, DC, all that. But <clears throat> I loved it. It was awesome. Um, it was an awesome birthday present to go to the movies. I like watching movies, and I know they don't like watching movies very often. Um, my brother does, but my mom, she's not a movie person, really. Um, and Unless it's something... Um, she's into but very few but um so it was definitely cool glad my brother came we all hung out but um so now i'm gonna talk about the movie movie uh that was just kind of my day and like how i how i the experience of the movie but the movie um it starts out with um tom cruise he's in this like bunker type thing i guess hiding out and then they give him a mission and the whole syndicate place and there's some people called the apostles <clears throat> And they're kind of like they were under the syndicate dude and they're basically they're trying to break him out and then um so tom cruise is trying to stop that and they're trying to stop a nuclear nuclear bombs from going off and um they they go back and forth like t tom cruise or ethan hunt loses the bombs at first and then they suspect that he's a double agent and he gave them the bombs so he starts working with them and he starts working under the name lark because, uh, oh, and that girl from, I forget her name, but the girl who is the biker chick or whatever, who goes around, is kind of like an assassin, the, the London, the London secret agent, um, MI6 agent, I forget her name, but she's in the movie as well, and she goes to the nightclub with Tom Cruise and helps him out, um, <clears throat> it's pretty cool, this is why I gotta do the movie review, because I'm, like, slowly remembering, uh, I gotta do it, like, the day of, but, um, there's just some awesome scenes that that scene when he jumped off the uh, The roof to the other roof and he broke his ankle it actually it really looked like I understand why he broke his ankle because his ankle smacked against that thing um, Yeah, it shattered his ankle. I heard um, <clears throat> uh, It was kind of funny before he uh, before he did that scene he um, He was in a room full of people and then they were all looking at him. He was standing He was looking out the window. He was like, where do I go? You want me to go right right now? He goes, oh, sorry, I had it in, um, I had it on the screen lock on. He goes, oh, sorry, I had it in 2D mode, and then he's like, jump out the window, and then he, wait, oh, he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, I'm jumping out of a window currently, and then everyone's looking at him like, don't do it, but then he takes a chair, breaks the glass, and then jumps out. He kind of lands face first, almost. It's crazy, but um, he ends up getting that guy, and then he's hanging from the elevator. I'm just trying to tell, I'm telling you guys parts I remember. Um, but he's hanging from the elevator, and uh, Superman was actually in it, uh, Henry Cavill, which was surprising. I wasn't expecting that. But um, he kind of sits down. He's like, he's in the elevator above him. He was like looking at him. 
he's like basically what's up <laughs> but um yeah he's like if you uh come after me i'm gonna kill this girl you know the mi6 girl that i think i guess ethan hunt loves but doesn't i don't know i don't know it's very conflicted with the love story part of aspect of the uh movie but um helicopter scene was awesome they uh went back and forth he was like he's trying to smash into us with a helicopter yeah he's definitely crazy um part of me thought he was gonna like jump out of the helicopter for some reason get beside them and do like his craziest stunt yet jumping out of a helicopter into another one um i don't know if that'd be his craziest but it was it would have been pretty close um in the end he ended up the, uh, ramming them with a helicopter then they had the awesome fight scene at the end and then the helicopter was uh, attached by a hook on the rock it was slowly falling down and then tom cruise he yanked down the rope and it hooked into henry cavill's head and then oh took him down into the fire explosion bam then he gets the trigger he gets it at the last second <laughs> um they brought that girl back from i think number three or four it was uh his wife ethan hunt's wife and then uh she was there the syndicate guy was trying to blow him up <clears throat> syndicate guy came really close to killing benji which I, I really thought benji was gonna die i thought uh the mi6 girl was gonna let him die but she ended up choking out the uh syndicate dude the lane lane that's his name uh lane and then uh cutting down benji with the bottle really fast that was pretty cool um what else what else happened the bomb in the cell phone tower looking thing was pretty it's pretty genius ingenious in my opinion because um i would have never expected something like that unless i had the radioactive um finder thing <laughs> gps but uh <clears throat> what else happened oh when they tricked henry cavill into revealing himself um they they uh took put the um kind of like the sleeper thing or um i don't know what it was like it's kind of like a trank dart in their boss's neck and then they acted like he was going rogue, and then uh, Ethan Hunt was going rogue, and then they ended up swapping out uh, Benji with the uh, Lane guy, with uh, without Henry Cavill knowing. I'm just gonna say Henry, Henry knowing, and then uh, he gave away all his secret plans, and then they staged the whole thing. But then the girl in Washington was like, "Yeah, I heard all that," and then she turned on them, and then um, it, was, it was just a lot of turning, and it, it's so crazy. Um, but. Who knows? Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys, I got that hit Funko Pop, by the way, for my birthday. It's up there. It's there. <laughs> but um, I have some more coming. But yeah, um, those are some of my favorite parts from the movie, to be honest. Uh, what else happened? What else? Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else happened? What else happened? What else happened? It's hard to remember. It was a two and a half hour movie. I wish it was like three and a half hours. <laughs> like, I love movies so much. Um, Especially with Tom Cruise, Dwayne Johnson, Mark Wahlberg, all those. I want to see his new movie, 22. 22 Mile? Mile 22, I think it is. Um, I saw the trailer for that the other day. It's pretty cool. Um, that's about it. I don't know. I don't want to talk too long for you guys. Um, I love the movie, to be honest. Tell me if you guys seen the movie, what your favorite part was down below. And tell me how you thought of my review. But Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.